tilapia at the surface. Mm. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and welcome to another tangle in Mexico, baby, in the Sinaloa Mountains on Lake Comadero. If you guys checked out the last video, you know what Lake Comadero is all about, and this is my third time down there. If you guys want to check out the lake and go visit those fishing adventures down there, I'll link Ron Speed's uh, lodge down below, but today, we're out in the afternoon and uh, tilapias are all the surface. Things were getting heated up kind of crazy and uh, caught something I'd never caught before. It was super strange, caught me off guard. So uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it. Oh yeah, and uh, you may notice I'm standing next to a, a new boat here. Uh, that's for another video. But anyway, it kind of looks like my last boat, but just way better, more awesome. And uh, we'll get to that in another video. But anyway, here's the crazy footage from today. <laughs> We're doing an afternoon dangle right now. I'm trying to go after just a big fish, just having some fun. First day, first video, where I fished with you guys. Figured out something that has been working, throwing a swim bait, throwing a spinner bait out on the main points and secondary points. Right now we have a little bit of wind, so I think a spinner bait might be better, but uh, that's how the big fish are being caught. A lot of the small fish are in the backs of the creeks, they're close to the bank, but the big ones, they're like 12 to 15 feet of water, and you gotta chunk and wind slow. It's very similar to when we were here in December. Switching it up this year with that swim bait, it's been really good, so hoping for a true giant, a double ditch. So, let's get to winding, cranking. Yeah, mm -hmm. They're getting scared down there. Oh. They were just sitting right under him. Yeah. There's a... Oh. Uh, sorry. Little one. Came back. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. He's either big or he's foul hooked. Oh, he come off. Oh. There's a lot of weight on there. Yeah, I don't know how many. Oh, there's a bite. Little guy. Very, very big. Bigger than anything I've ever felt out here. Oh, it's big. Mucho grande. Oh, it's a carpa. A carpa. Holy moly. Do you want egg? Well, that got me excited. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a photo here. Yeah. Let me go reel in this marlin here. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's high. Oh, it's high hook. Yeah. It's a mirror carp. <laughs> John B is gonna be excited. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Comodera Mondo Carps, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, that got me pumped. Holy moly, my, my heart sank, man. Oh my. <laughs> it felt so big. So big. That's my first mirror carp ever. That's kind of kind of unique, I guess. Well, <laughs> look at those soft little lips. I would sniff you, but you're just not the same. Gosh. Oh my gosh, my heart got to like racing, dude. <laughs> racing. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. This, I think these are rare, right? Mirror, yeah. Mirror carp? Yeah, she's beautiful, man. 
What is it? Is that rare? Have you ever seen that? Es raro que lo agarren con Jake. Sí. Whoa. No lo agarró. In a dangerous position right now. Yeah. No lo agarró, lo robó. This baby's, gonna, this baby's gonna flop. These are good to eat. Para comer. Bueno. To my child. How many bones? Bones. You say, is the, I never felt anything. I was like, holy. Okay, carp. My first mirror carp, crazy. I know these are rare back in the States, but I'm not, I'm not sure. They might be stacked down here in Mexico. I don't know. Okay, see you, baby. That power in a carp. It makes me want to fish for him more. <laughs> yeah. That was insane. So when you say it was a big one, I was like, oh, it's a big one. And then when you say, oh, I never felt anything like this. Yeah. Then my heart went from here <laughs> to like my stomach. The biggest fish I hooked out here was like, was like that, where I hooked it and then it swam out and then it went under the boat. And then I went like this and it bent the rod under the boat. And I just got like a, a peak of it, it pulled out, like oh. the jig pulled out. Okay, I think we need to try those points. Okay. I have never caught one of those carp. A mirror carp is what they're called. I think it's a super cool catch. Got some great photos, thanks to Steven. But I still want a huge bass. <laughs> that was actually on a jig. I was flipping on a point, and slammed my jig, and then it bent the rod over, and I just thought, oh boy, oh boy, this is a giant. We're moving out, more main lake, big spinner bait, big swim bait, just going big. This is like a kind of a have fun day. We already filmed a bunch of Guggen stuff this morning and we're uh, we're just trying to catch a, a PB. We're all out here trying to just catch a big fish. Fishing with Juan Carlos, AKA Senior Bass and Steven. It's been a good dangle. We've had a good dangle together. But... I lost about a seven earlier and kind of made me sour. That's big. Oh. Search your favorite curse word here. So, need to make up for it. Get it big. I need a beer. My heart rate got real high there. <laughs> and then it went down so fast. Man, that was an emotional moment. Nope. Ready. Did you get a bite too? Let me get a bite. That's where the big one should be. But not him. The big old chandelier. What was that? Um, that Twenty. They were sitting in like they were suspended in twelve, and where the point was was like eighteen. Oh gosh! Knock slack in my mind. Rather tough dangle here this afternoon. Caught small fish, but nothing big. It's just the mirror carp, man. Our last few uh, minutes of daylight, we're gonna go to some point that uh, our guy thinks might be good, but he basically said, I should probably just take you home because the big fish are not biting right now. That's never a good sign. Gonde Aki, see? Huge rock island right here. Got my little vlog camera out. It doesn't do it justice, the mountains. And now you get to really see like the cool clouds and everything. It's gonna be an awesome sunset, I think. But we're at a new spot. It's probably where we're, go where we're gonna end our dangle for the day. And I'm gonna throw top water. Llegamos al último punto de la tarde. Mi amigo, el cuate aquí. Le decimos cuate porque tiene un gemelo. Water 73, actually. And they haven't even really started spawning yet, like big time spawning. So, got a big point behind us. I remember last year I did catch a good one right there. Spinner bait and a jig, so I'm gonna give it a dang deep. Come on, baby, let's do it. Me voy a quitar el bigote este porque este bigote. Well, for all y'all that are wondering what's going on right now, or new to the channel, that is called Spanish. And that is Senor Bass right there. Yes. He'll be linked down below. He does the Spanish speaking vidges on the bass internet. He's the biggest there is. So it's been really nice to have him in the boat so I can talk to the guide and share, compare notes. Oh, there's a little one. 
didn't want to eat it. Get him. Steven. Get him, Steven. Come on, Steven. Be an eight pounder. Yeah. Is he pulling good now? Oh my gosh. Steven got a good one. Out here giving it a dangle. Come on, Steven. Heck yeah, son. Oh, Heck yeah, son. Yeah. See, now it's, now it's my turn to take your picture. <laughs> oh, All man. I've had. You know what? We got to give it up. Ooh, oh. man. Yeah, baby, oh. Mondo. Mondo oh, born. Yeah. Here we go. We're about to get a sexy photo. Steven. <laughs> First it was 523 and yeah, then now it's 423. But the last one works. I got. Nice fish. 423. Awesome. Steven. Beautiful. That was awesome. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, the Mondo worm. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. How about it? Let's end on that. Let's end on Steven catching his first dandy out here on Comadero. He's been working hard out here filming. I love it. All right, let's go in, boys. That's a good way to end the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Agreed? Yeah. Agree. Agreed. Oh, thank you, Buen trabajo, Steven. Where's the Honda one? Buenos trabajo. Also, I'm the only one that does not speak Spanish in this boat, so uh, kind of the third wheel. <laughs> Correction, make that fourth wheel. <laughs> I know you guys were going to call me out on that. Ridiculous beauty out here, y'all. I mean, it was a tough bass fishing day. You can't complain. You can't complain with the views. Sorry. If you do, you're just not, you're not fun. You're not a fun person to be around. It's majestic. And there we have it. Another beautiful sunset down in Mexico. Some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen on the face of this earth so far in my travels. Great way to end the day too with Steven catching his first good bass down there in Mexico. The camera guys were working their butts off down there filming and we got a little chance to just have some fun. Camera guys got to fish a little bit and catch some fish so it was all good. And I still want to know how rare is it to catch one of these mirror carp. Now, I just randomly caught one down in Mexico and it was my first one ever. Probably only caught like 20 carp in my life so I want to know from you guys, have you ever caught a mirror carp? How rare are they to catch? And I want to say thanks to everyone that came out to the Fun and Sun meetup the other day. Uh, I'm going to be featuring that video soon, but thank you guys. Uh, so many of you awesome fishing freaks out there. I love meeting all of you guys. Okay, one more video left on the Mexico series, and then we're moving on to a completely different direction. I've already gone on another adventure, and uh, it's just total opposite, and it was a lot of fun too. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe right here to the channel, and I'll see you soon. First and foremost, I want to thank the legend himself, the guy holding the camera, the, gay, the guy that needs no introduction for the emergency. I had an emergency. Thank you. Super orange. Yeah, I think too much sun and uh, not enough big fish will make you sick. This makes limping back to the lodge feel a lot better. There's nothing like just a bunch of lures mixed in with nachos and some marks. And they actually are good. The trees are actually behind Peric over there. They picked the limes and stuff. It.